Castle Storm, the latest game from Zen Studios, is a hybrid of sorts, marrying the tower defense genre to physics-based destruction games in the vein of titles like Angry Birds. In the game's main campaign, you learn of the Knights of the Kingdom and the Barbaric Vikings and a treaty of peace between these warring nations, but that was a hundred years ago. Honestly, the story is a bit thin. Not that you need much of a story to hurl giant javelins at enemy troops and strongholds. The bulk of the story has you defending the kingdom, but at certain points you'll team up with a rogue group of Vikings which offer different troops and weapons. When it comes down to the actual gameplay, Castle Storm plays a lot like Angry Birds. You have different artillery from your standard javelin, three spears at once, shots that explode to the button press after firing, and so on. And while this may not seem too tower defensey, destroying the opponent's castle isn't the only name of the game. Certain levels will have more than one way to conquer your foes. If bashing down the front door isn't enough to bring down their stronghold, you can send troops in to catch their flag, or use the troops as fodder while you bring the house down around your enemy's ears. There are also spells that can protect troops, attack with powerful magic, and even allow you to briefly play as your team's champion, while it may not be your standard tower defense fair as you don't really have to mine for materials with which to fight, the real challenge comes in multitasking between troop organization, spell production, and ballista fire. The best way to make sure the proper troops are outfitted and always at hand is customizing your castle with the proper food stores and barracks. The look of the game itself is rather cartoonish, though I suppose for this sort of title you wouldn't want things to look super realistic as you launch a gaseous sheep into enemy territory. And while the bright vibrant colors and lush background of the various battlefields add a nice variety to the visuals, the castle editor leaves a bit to be desired, as rooms appear small and often unrecognizable from each other, which makes customization take a bit longer as you click on every room that was preset to determine what's what. The sounds of battle do well here, with each crunch and crash of the castle walls crumbling down echoing well into the night. There's not a lot of voice acting per se, as much of the story is driven along via scrolling text, but the few voices that are present add a certain amount of character to the troops, your champions, and the other characters of the realm. There's a certain level of humor throughout, and the minimal voice work punctuates the gags of the text. If the tower defense game is your thing, Castle Storm certainly offers a serviceable option to the already busy genre. There are plenty of multiplayer options, from one-on-one -on -one split screen skirmishes to survival and last stand co-op where players control the heroes rather than man the ballista. The real meat and potatoes is the campaign, which is where you'll end up getting all the good weapons and rooms for your castle to use in multiplayer anyway. It's certainly worth a try, but won't set the world on fire. Be sure to check out my full review over at destructoid.com.